What's going on, everybody? I know y'all are probably like, where in the hell have you been? So, before I actually get into this review, if you only came for the review, if I remember, which I should, you should be able to go down to the description box below, click on the time, it'll take you directly to the review. That's all the that chain for. But, um, pretty much to answer that question, I've been working. Uh, most of you already know what it is that I do for a living. Like I said, I don't get on hand out on broadcast because, I mean, that's not what the fuck I do. Like I said, I don't need to sit here and be, you know, praised for that shit. It's not what it is. But, <clears throat> like, I left uh, February 6th, and I was gone for two weeks, roughly. Came back, and I was actually going to do all the videos that I missed. But my DVR had act up, and I didn't feel like trying to sit here and search for it. And I already didn't have enough, I didn't have a whole lot of time on my hands anyway. And then at the same exact time, I only had like two weeks here before I had to go back out to the field, which is where I just came from. We actually got back on Sunday, and we were actually supposed to be coming back Thursday. So, you know, praise God for that. But, um, yeah, it's pretty much what it's really been is that. I've pretty much been um, working, <laughs> and as of right now, it's probably not going to, well, it's slowing down now. Uh, like I said, I might be going back out to the field in April, and the upcoming months, like I said, I will be gone for a month, uh, projected right now. So, again, this is one of those where if I'm, if I'm not here, chances are I'm probably working. All right. Like I said, and here's the thing, like I said, for me, you know, like I said, YouTube is truly hot because this is not where I make my money. I make my money doing what it is that I do. So that's pretty much that. I do also want to say that um, if all goes well, if not by the end of the month, mid next month, like I said, it will be a completely different change in scenery. So like I said, just, you know, kind of get ready for that and being back out in the field i'm back vaping but i am for what it's worth controlling my blood pressure so hey we're back you know i went ahead and i got me a nice little and i ain't a look glass <laughs> but i have a glass of long island so i have this ready i hope you guys are ready and with that being said just a real quick hey where the fuck i've been so with that being said let's get into this review shall we What's up, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for Love and Hip Hop. This is the season premiere, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is season six, episode one. I'm not sure. It'll be in the description box down below. Um, so I'm, I'm finna go old school, y'all. I'm, I'm really finna take it back. Y'all yeah, know what that is. Old school. All right, so, and yeah, y'all see the cloud. Throwback, baby. Uh, so, first thing that I want to mention is, if ain't nobody came on this show and done did it right, we have to fucking give it up to Tommy. Tommy is now on the intro. So, she went from being, I guess, like a side character, even though she played a pivotal role last season, into being a fucking main character. So, you know, she went and she did the damn thing. And might I say, she looked gorgeous with that blonde hair. Like, how she had it all did up. Like, she was looking good. I was like, all right. So, starts off with uh, Jocelyn doing a pregnancy shoot. She's saying Stevie ain't been around. She's going to throw a masquerade party a little bit later on in the show. And uh, she serves Stevie with some papers for a uh, paternity test. Now, Jock, he's now living in the woods. He got his, his perm and shit going on. Right quick, I'm going to say this. I said I haven't done, uh, you know, tabloids and trending topics with T in a while, but I will say this: when the hair came, when he had his hair like that, and the first came out, even with Jaheem, I ain't have shit to say about it. I don't fucking care. 
You feel what I'm saying? It's just like, okay, that's his hair. He can do what he wants to do with his hair. If you want to put a berm in the motherfucker, put a berm in it. You know what I'm saying? And then all the colorism that happened with it to where light skin people can do it. But look, man, Jock do you, ha, ha, Jaheen do you, and the rest of y'all motherfuckers do you. I because like I said, why the fuck they doing it? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm keep it natural. And yes, my hair is actually packed out because I have my do rag on. Like I said, I mean, I would pick out a little piece of it, but I might pick the whole thing out. I don't want to do that. But he's in the woods. Uh, Carly Red comes to see him. She's still hot about all the shit that he done talked uh, last season on Hub, uh, you know, about her punana and all this other shit. And she is doing a sex book. She wants him to apologize. And there's some type of wager. I didn't really catch the wager, but if she wins, he poses new if he wins she has to clean his house i think just in bra panties and heels and it's either gonna be streaming facebook live or instagram live okay what else da, da, da. so now we got mimi mimi is uh in a club with tammy rashida arian and this girl named melissa she owns a uh i think she had she owns a party bus and she also has her own bar, and she says that she's, uh, I guess, like one of the leading, I don't know if she said DJ or bar owners, y'all give me together down there, uh, but for the LGBTQ community, and especially in Atlanta. So we find out that Mimi is, you know, still sexually fluid. Tammy's still lonely. Rashida said they've been having issues in her fucking, been having some issues. I'm going to just leave it there. <clears throat> we'll get fuck about Arian. Melissa's cool with Jocelyn, and she even made it clear that, you know, I can be cool with her, I can be cool with y'all, it's just I don't entertain people talking shit, and, you know, she not like charade, but she the bone care, she don't do none of that shit right there. Now, Tommy meets up with Stevie, uh, and she wants to have him go with her to the police station because, of course, the restraining order that Jocelyn put out there and also then tipped them off or put some shit out there, and Tommy feels like that way, it's just like, okay, for you to be a street bitch, we couldn't have this in the street. And she even said that, you know, I wouldn't hit her because she's pregnant. Hey, I don't fucking know. I can understand her getting the police involved, being pregnant and whatnot. But at the same exact time, you got to be careful about the motherfucking check your ass right. And that's a low down, dirty motherfucker. And know you got kids and that is willing to go to such extreme. I really can't even say that. I'm, I'm going to take that, but take back the whole low down, dirty, because fuck it. All is fair love war. I'm just move the fuck on. Um, but Stevie is going to try to go with her to smooth it over, but they go there. They ain't trying to hear what the fuck she had to say. The police cuff her. She going to jail. Jocelyn masquerade party. I mean, it just is what it is. Now, the whole Kirk and Rashida thing. Look, y'all, I'm going to keep it all the way 1,000 with y'all. If y'all remember from last season, I already said, I, uh, if cheating and all the, if that's going to be their fucking story, like, I'm not here for it. I will not talk about it. So I will not talk about it. This is going to be a quick-ass fucking review. And then the whole episode ends with uh, Jocelyn and Stevie meeting up, and that's it. So I gave y'all this review, just the review part, in uh, less than six minutes. So that's all I got. You know, if y'all really, really want me to talk about the Kirk and Rashida thing, I'll consider it, but I can let you know right now, it probably gonna fucking happen. But that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for caring. Looking out for a motherfucker. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, I should be back for a little bit uh, Atlanta. Deuces.